We launched The Sims 3 in 2009, so it's been a few years. Uh, but The Sims 4 is fantastic. We've completely focused on The Sims in this uh, in this game. Uh, they are now emotional beings, and everything they do is uh, impacted by how they're feeling. It changes the way you play the game, and it makes it a really fun, fresh, new experience. Uh, we also have brand new tech that drives the best simulation we've ever made. Our Sims can multitask. They can do group socialization. They feel more alive, and we really have the best simulation we've ever made at Maxis. And then thirdly, we've completely rebuilt our creative tools. They're more intuitive, they're more tactile, and they're so much more fun to play with. It's a really cool experience. Shrek, Shrek the Gorg. Uh, one of the great examples is if you want your, if you wanted to get your Sims to flirt in The Sims 3, you would have to keep clicking the flirt social. Uh, but uh, in The Sims 4, you could get your Sim into a, a flirty emotional state, have them look at a flirty painting or something else, and they're going to be able to do those flirty interactions like kiss or tell a flirty joke a lot faster because they're now feeling flirty and they can do those interactions right off the bat. If my Sim is grumpy or angry or even furious, he is going to be able to work out better in the gym. So you can use your emotions to achieve different things in the game. Uh, if I want my sim to work out really hard, I could do something to him that makes him feel really angry, get him in a fight with somebody else, and he'll be really mad. Then he can go into the gym and get on the treadmill and run harder than he ever could before because he's really running off that anger. And in turn, he'll build his athletic skill faster. So it's a really fun new way to play the game because you can use your emotions to achieve a bunch of different things. We certainly have uh, a lot of uh, simulation happening that uh, is controlling what the Sims are feeling about each other. And uh, we also have this really fun new system in the game that allows you to uh, capture a moment as a memory and then assign an emotion to it. So your Sim can then reminisce on that memory and it will make them feel a certain way. So it's a lot of fun. If, say, they forgot to do the dishes, you can make that a memory and then uh, ass assign emotion to it like uh, anger. And so they could reminisce and be like, oh, I'm so they'll get really angry about forgetting to do the dishes. One of my favorite parts about The Sims is there's so many different ways to play it. Uh, the emotions certainly play a big part of that in terms of giving you a new way to tell stories because your Sims are now feeling, they have these feelings and thoughts that are emotional. Uh, but if you are an achiever, you like to achieve stuff, you can use those emotions to, to max out all the skills and do the best all the careers. But if you're a builder, we've got these really cool brand new tools that are going to allow you to build so much faster and have a great time doing it. Uh, our our creative sim tool is also really cool because for the first time ever, you're actually grabbing onto the sims and making the adjustments with your hand rather than using sliders. So there's many different ways to play the game. If, if, you're, if you like achievements, we've got achievements in the game. If you like to tell stories, you can certainly do that with your sims. Or if you're uh, more creative, you can uh, make buildings and, and create new sims. So that's one of the best parts about the game is there's so many different ways to play it. We have one of the biggest player communities in the entire world, so we love to hear from them. And one of the best parts about releasing any Sims game is seeing what the creations are that people make with it. The Sims they make and then share, and the houses and the stories they tell. Uh, we learned a lot of stuff from The Sims 3, and we'll get into more details about sharing and community in the future. It is optional, of course. Uh, it is a single-player offline game. Uh, but if you want to share, it will all be there, and we're doing a lot of really cool work to bring the sharing and community uh, experience into the game and streamline it so it works in the game. Uh, so yeah, we've got a lot of more really fun details to come.